I'm Coach Amy and today's recipe is Cajun red beans and rice. So for this recipe, you are going to need uh, two to three bell peppers chopped, one white onion chopped, um, one pound of smoked turkey sausage or chicken sausage. Now, you can also leave this as a vegetarian dish and completely omit the sausage if you like, but you could also add it in as well. So however you like it. Um, two stalks of celery diced, two cans of diced tomatoes, the 14 and a half ounce cans, one pound of dry red kidney beans and some water. Now, the way I'm gonna show you this today is actually gonna be in the crock pot and you're gonna need a large crock pot for this one. Okay, so to start, the first thing I'm going to do is start with the beans. All right, so I'm gonna put the one pound of dry beans in here. And this is a couple step process. Um, when it comes to the peppers and the onions, I don't like to add them to the crock pot with the beans and the tomatoes. I like to cook it separate and add it in at the end. This way the peppers don't get mushy, they don't you know, kind of disintegrate and they give it some extra flavor at the end. Um, however, the onion I do split, I put half of the onion in now and I put the other half in right before serving. Okay, so I have the beans in here. I'm going to add the tomato. And this takes, it depends on your crock pot, anywhere between four to six hours. So I like to check on it probably like every two hours just to see how the beans are doing because that's gonna be the part that takes the longest because these are dry beans. All right, and also Creole seasoning. Um, you'll see on the recipe, I gave you a recipe for homemade Creole seasoning. Now that's for a big batch. You're not gonna use all of that just for this one recipe. I usually start with about two to three tablespoons and then just add seasoning as needed as I go along. Okay, so the celery and half of the onion I'm gonna add now. All right, I'm gonna grab a spatula. Okay, so I'm just gonna mix that together. And this one you can eat on its own or um, obviously it's red beans and rice, so I like to serve it with brown rice, but you certainly don't need the rice if you don't want it. Okay, and then I'm going to add my smoked sausage. This is actually um, turkey kielbasa. So, um, it's a turkey version, it's gonna have lower fat. And again, you could totally leave out of the meat if you wanna have a vegetarian option. All right, I'm gonna add about two to three tablespoons of the Creole seasoning. And you'll see there's about um, eight to 10 different seasonings in this. So when you see that recipe, this is a great one to make and it, you know, this will stay for a while. Like I said, two to three tablespoons in here, you're gonna have quite a bit left over for batches later on. All right, I'm gonna mix all that. Okay, now to get these beans to cook, I'm gonna add just enough water to cover them. And as you go along, if you see you may have added too much water, that's okay. You can always add some tomato paste to this to thicken it up, maybe a little bit of cornstarch. Um, I've certainly done that where I've added too much water off the bat, but it's completely fixable. All right, so for my crock pot, it's gonna be about a cup and a half of water I just used, enough to cover my beans. Now, that's one, another reason why I like to check on this every two hours, just in case I need to add more water. Okay, so that is all mixed together. Um, when the beans are soft, and I'll come back when the beans are ready so you can see what the finished product looks like. Um, just before serving, I'm going to saute the remainder of the onion and the bell peppers, and then I'm gonna add it to the crack pot and stir it all in just before serving. Um, all right, so I will be back in a few hours. Um, I'm gonna pause you and come back and show you what the beans look like when they're finished, okay? Thanks. Okay, I am back with the red beans and rice. Um, it was took about four hours on high, and um, at about the two hour mark, I did have to add one more cup of water and about another tablespoon of the Creole seasoning. So again, that's why I like to check on it because sometimes it needs a little more water, sometimes it needs a little less, but I did add another cup. Um, a few minutes ago, I just saw, to, ooh, that's spicy. I just sauteed the remainder of the onion and the peppers, and I'm gonna put this in now that this is done cooking. Again, I like to do this um, so those peppers kind of don't disintegrate in there. If they cook too long, peppers kind of, you know, there's so much water, the peppers kind of tend to disappear. So I'm just going to stir this all together. And then you can serve this over uh, white rice, cauliflower rice, whatever you prefer. I actually eat it all on its own. I don't even use the rice most of the time. 
So give this a good stir. And I also add a little kick after too, because you know, with the kids, they don't always like super spicy stuff. So I tend to add a little bit of spice at the end. All right, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay, so again, four hours on high, and here is the finished product. It's super steamy. Um, in the crock pot, big crock pot. If, um, what I would do is say, if I were putting this on when I was going to work, I would probably put it on low for eight hours, but because I was home today, I was able to do it on high for four hours and cut the cooking time in half. And it still came out perfect. So give this a try, let me know what you think, and I hope you enjoy, thanks. Thank you.